Hello everyone and welcome by the Orchid Zaga. And yes, again, I have an unboxing video for you guys. Uh, well, especially for me, of course. <laughs> um, yeah, I, uh, I there was uh, especially one orchid that I thought, yeah, it's just now the time. I need to get it. The weather is uh, good to ship orchids. It's not too cold. It's not too warm. And I think it's a decent size plant, but I don't um, know for sure, of course, because sometimes we get two or three in one pot and they sell it as a, a nice big plant, but it actually are just a few uh, small plants. But you will have a look and if you can read, the, yeah, yeah you can, I think you can see it now. <laughs> it's from PetrandsArchidShop.eu. Uh, it's a uh, nursery from Belgium. I ordered from them before and so far so good. So I think uh, we may have some good plans. And within this uh, same um, delivery today I have this package as well. It's not orchids, but it's orchid related. And I thought, well, I'm going to quickly show them to you. These are the water meters that I use for in my pots. They give the indication of how much water is left in that reservoir down here. Um, these I get basically in, in, in bulk. Um, I now ordered uh, around 50 of them um, because I run out already. Uh, <laughs> so if you don't forget, I will have the Amazon link uh, in the video description if you are interested in which ones I use. I use different sizes of these guys. I really uh, like working with them, but I must say these are the cheaper version. So what you sometimes get, I get it quite often, I must be honest, there's a little red thing and the indicator itself in there that gets stuck quite easily on the, uh, on the beginning. So you need to keep an eye on that if you use these guys. But enough about these non arcade stuff related uh, things. <laughs> Let's put it on the shelf because this is um, the most important I think. Let's move it to the side. I have ordered four orchids. One of them, like I said, was uh, really the time. I had my eye on it for quite a quite a while. Didn't uh, buy it yet, but um, and you may know which one I'm talking about because I briefly talked about it in my one of my last uh, care collapse. Um, the one with the uh, purpurata in it. And uh, there was another variety, uh, actually two that I'm looking for, one I uh, have ordered now. So you do get a little nice brochure and I must admit I like this one with the, with the wetter blooms stand out quite well. There are different types of uh, brochures, but I like the more easy one on the eyes, just to be a personal uh, preference there. But I really like uh, how they uh, set it up. It's a beautiful uh, nursery in, in Belgium, like I said. Okay, here we go, you guys. Let's have a look. Oh, we have a peening uh, package, 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 nee, package peenage? How do you call them? I, I can't remember <laughs> on the top of my head. But, um, yeah, package peenage, I think. These are uh, little things. But, I don't like the feeling of those guys, but anyhow. <laughs> and they can fly. I have that happen when we have the fans running and they blow it, the wind in it and uh, they are all basically gone. But I uh, turned off the ventilator for uh, because of this filming, of course. Of course, but it would make a little bit too much noise. Okay. We have a few in there. Oh yes, this is also one. I remember this one and the other one that I have ordered. And two on top of my head I cannot remember. But this one I could. Um, it's two years from blooming. Normally I'm not a big fan of... Uh, I like them a little bit older. But this one, I don't know. It has something I fucked up. Anyhow, sometimes I mess up where... Um, with potting or something and it, it, the orchid has to uh, recover thereby the blooming time can be also in a one year I'm sorry one year or two so yeah it's just how you look at it I think but this one is uh, oh it has a beautiful new growth and there's a fly here you can go 
annoy somebody else. <laughs> okay. There is a beautiful new growth on there, and I am talking about the Lelia Xanti Xantina. I hope you can see this. Xantina. Beautiful yellow with, uh, with, um, yellow with white blooms. Shape of the blooms, I, uh, I, I only saw it on pictures, but I think I really like it. So far, what I, what I saw, I really did like it. Um, so yeah, and I, I, I don't know what it is, but it is something with a combination of a nice, bright, deep yellow with white, with almost pure white. That combination in flowers, I, I don't know what it is, but I love it. <laughs> it reminds me, in a strange way, uh, of um, sort of yogurt, candy, I don't know what it is, but I, I, re I really like it. Um, so, and this one has that combination. So I really like it. It looks like a kind of a healthy plant because I have beautiful uh, root tips there, young roots. So this one uh, can be apparted uh, in my new setup quite quickly. And, and it probably would take off uh, quite, quite quickly as well. But uh, yeah, this is the first one. Let's have a look at another one. It's packed in moss, so it needs to come out most of the times quite quickly because it, they are packed heavily in moss most of the times, which I uh, do not like. Yeah, this is his. This is the one that I uh, like to add to my collection, which made me start making this order. Let me grab that tag. Oh, there it is. It's Nilelia. Uh, let me. Work housery, saray or something. <laughs> housery. I hope uh, I pronounce it almost right. <laughs> but this is it. I uh, really like the blooms of this one as well. So let us see how the plant looks. I think it's yeah. It's a, it's a reasonable size. Oh, beautiful! This this is a new growth. It's uh, maturing. Still, uh, still working on this, but beautiful, beautiful. Roots are okay, I think. There are quite a lot of thin roots. This, these are th all thin roots. Uh, probably ferns or something. I don't mind ferns. I really love your ferns as well. So I hope that these roots are um, belonging to a type of fern that I do not already have. I try to collect them. I have at least two different kinds. It doesn't sound as much, <laughs> but they were free, so I'm happy with them. But uh, do I have two? Maybe I have even three different kinds. Uh, anyhow, I, someday I will show them to you guys if you are interested in it. Um, but now we're going to focus on this target. Also bark. It's not moss. I thought it was moss because of those teeny tiny roots. Let me First side, I thought that is moss, but it's just um, roots. I don't see plants on the top of the pot, but these are definitely not not. Uh, oh wait, a, this could be moss. Maybe it's a live moss. I don't know. I never had it this uh, visible in a pot before. I must admit. But if I I cannot zoom in a, a, enough, I think. But if you if I could, you see a little teeny tiny green pieces and I have some moss on top here, so who knows? We have some live moss. Yeah, I think it might be moss actually. It has another tag, just in case. If I lose one, I have another one I think. <laughs> That's okay, obviously. But yeah, it's, uh, it looks uh, okay. It's, it's uh, a beautiful uh, plant so far. Um, I see, I think these are branches, root branches, but this new growth, let me grab that piece of bark out of there, isn't uh, shooting roots yet, so I will wait a little bit, probably when this matures it will shoot out some roots and then I will uh, repot it um, if it stays healthy in a pot. 
I also have some successes with orchids that I take out earlier even though they haven't a uh, new roots yet. If you don't forget I will put a link in the video where you can check that out. I'm not always waiting um, as I probably should but I have good results. I think I uh, learned how to get the orchids going in a new setup uh, more and more by uh, doing this for some years. But it's always the best. If you can wait for new roots, you should wait. There is my camera. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. But sometimes you just can because uh, of mold situations. It's just an example. But let's say you have a lot of mold uh, rotting going on. You should um, repot as soon as possible. Okay, this is the next one. It's quite a big one, uh, I think. But. Oh, and I see blooms. Oh yeah, I remember, of course. Oh yeah, this is a beautiful one. <laughs> How can I forget? How can I forget? I saw this one, and I thought, yes, that's one that I am going to like, to have and to grow in my collection. Whoops, all the things. Packing peanuts everywhere. Come on, leave that argot alone, please. Uh, let me find a good, nice bloom. Well, they are all nice. A little bit damaged from packing, but here she is. How about that? Isn't that a beautiful bloom? I think it is. Oh yeah, this is uh, fragrant. Not sure if I really like it, it's not bad, but I think it needs a little bit more uh, establishing and it probably will uh, be a bit stronger and a bit better. This is obviously a Zygo Petalum and it's a crush, if I remember correctly, but I love those blooms. I thought, yeah, I'm going to do it and I'm just going to try because I found a way to uh, grow my Zygos uh, quite good so far. I'm happy with them. I uh, know how to rebloom them in self-watering, how to get new roots. So I thought, yeah, I just uh, want to give this a try because, yeah, once again, look at those blooms. I really, really love them. And what I also love is we have new roots started. So this is a perfect time to repot this one. And that's beautiful because Saigos. I wait until I see new roots because if I don't, uh, losing this plant is a big chance uh, if you don't wait for new uh, new roots because a Saigo doesn't take uh, repotting uh, very well anyhow and if you make it even more difficult for Saigos then you are basically asking for a disaster so therefore I'm waiting for uh, for new roots and I think this one it's also making new roots, so yeah, it's beautiful. Strange, strange fragrance. Hmm. Strange fragrance. But it doesn't matter, these blooms are lovely. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I forget completely the name. Let me put it here. Oh, yeah, you can't see it there anymore, but this is. Take this bit. Dirty, but it's a uh, it's a Saigonesia Cosmo Murai crossed with Papstia Jungosa Mika. I hope you can read it. I will put it in the screen because <laughs> you probably heard me say something, but you. <laughs> You may have no clue what I uh, just read, so therefore <laughs> I keep it. Uh, I will put it in the screen. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful. I'm so, I'm really, really happy with these guys. And the last one, and I still cannot remember which one I ordered. Even more. Uh, no, it doesn't ring down yet. It's a bit smaller plant, obviously. Yeah. 
Yeah. Whoops. There it is. Oh yeah. Tank and CI. Yes, I remember. <laughs> I saw the plant and I remember. Well, that's something, isn't it? <laughs> but anyhow. I said Jenkins CI, I hope the tag says the same, <laughs> otherwise this would be uh, catastrophic for me <laughs> as an Arcus Brewer. Okay. It's a Lindsay eye, oh my god, seriously, <laughs> I had it wrong. Those, I think those two look very, uh, quite um, the same, but it's the uh, Lindley eye. Okay, so I need to work on my uh, my remembering my names of my orchids. Lindley and the, uh, yeah, those two are really uh, looking um, like one another. And if I'm correct, this one is the going to be the bigger one in comparison to the Jenkins Shi Eye. But anyhow, it's not the Jenkins Shi Eye. Okay, but what do we have? We have it's obviously grown on a, from a seedling. Um, I hope you can see this. I'm sorry, I was a little bit out of frame. But what I'm looking at, well, this is the first bulb, I think. And then we have this one and this one. First, I thought these two were the, were the first bulbs. Both, most of the times that means that you have two plants in one pot because they have two bulbs next to one another. But in this case, it, I think it was this one. So this probably is one plant, which uh, I pre prefer. And we have a new growth here, which I prefer. <laughs> oh, and that's beautiful. Another new root there. So this one I can repot as well. I have no idea if these uh, grow well in, in self-watering. I can remember if somebody has them in self-watering, if you do have. I apologize, I can remember on top of my head. But I will uh, definitely give this a try in self-watering. And we will see. But the, uh, not the Jenkins eye, Lindley eye. Lindley eye. <laughs> but yeah, those four I had honored. And of course, you never know. So I have to check my box. Yes, that's it. So, once again, these orchids are from uh, Petrons Orchids shop in Belgium. And let's have a last look of, uh, look at all of them. Let me clear the table as quickly as I can. So here's the... Uh, uh, I had two, uh, <laughs> two tags and already lost them. Lilia Workenhaus Surrey. Workhouse Surrey. Oh my god, I cannot pronounce it. I will put the tags in here, but a Lilia Peperata. Beautiful, another one. I'm really happy with this, and I think we might have some new uh, roots quite quickly. I think. This is the uh, Xantia, Lilia Xantia. I'm really looking forward to the blooms from this one as well, because the yellow and white. Then we have that beautiful cycle. One more time, you guys. I'm sorry, I just have to show them. Beautiful, aren't they? So happy that I did all of this. I don't know. Some orchids are just standing out a bit. It's just a personal taste, but this one, it's kind of kind of simple, and I mean it in the most positive way. But that that wet, uh, uh, wet, that white, white greenish color. On the sepals and the petals, uh, more uh, even brighter white lip with a tint, a hint of purple. I uh, yeah, I don't know what it is, but I I really really like them. So let's uh, try to grow this on very well. And then we have the Lindley eye, and not the Jenkins eye. <laughs> I always will. Remember this orchid as the not Jenkins eye, I think. <laughs> Lindley eye. Yes, yes, yes. It is, it is. My bad. But a beautiful orchid as well. New growths, starting new roots. So this one can go into self-watering uh, quite quickly. The Zygo as well. 
the Liliac Satya also, but the only one that I have to wait a little bit longer on is the uh, uh, Lilia Purpurata Workhouse Rei. But I, I expect that this one will shoot out some new roots quite quickly, so we have to... Uh, I, and I refer to that because I like to up-pot my August as most uh, cases uh, before winter starts. And I'm sorry we are in the middle of summer, so winter is not near, but I like to think ahead a little bit and give them a quite a nice start before winter sets in. Even though I have a... Um, a uh, greenhouse that I keep around 80 degrees. Sometimes it gets a, just a little bit cold because it's outside so cold and we have a lot of wind and I just cannot keep it warm enough uh, or I should pay a, a lot of money for uh, for heating and for gas and electricity and I just don't, don't want to do that so they have to keep up with some lower temperatures sometimes. So therefore, I like to have them ready and steady to go before we start uh, into go, uh, going, going into winter. But it doesn't mean I don't uh, get orchids in winter, but I have to really have to keep a closer eye on them. But uh, that said and done, as usual, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Um, if you grow one of these and you have some tips, always welcome. And for now, I just I'm just happy you are here. Thank you so much. I am I'm really seeing a um, a really positive line on the subscriptions, um, subscribers to my channel, and also the comments. And um, just makes me really happy. I I started this channel um, because I just wanted to share m my way of growing and the things that I've learned. For whoever wants to uh, to look at it, whoever wants to hear it, but um, having the channel uh, growing is obviously uh, wonderful. It's not. I don't have it as a goal. I don't have it as a goal that to become one of the biggest. But um, it's highly appreciated, and of course, I wouldn't mind get uh, get quite a quite a channel. But it's not something um, that I really uh, try to achieve. I just uh, want to have some fun. And uh, for you who likes to join in, you are very welcome, and therefore I make these videos. Thank you all, guys, and I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye!